In this video tutorial, I'm going to be talking about up and down sampling. Sampling refers to collecting data, and that can be for an image or for audio files. Here we're going to be focusing primarily on images. For example, if I have an image, and I'm simply going to represent that using this rectangle, it may have been scanned, it may have come from a digital camera, whatever the case, there are samples that are involved with this image. And that's going to depend upon our scanner and our camera. But let's say that this image has 100 samples going across horizontally, and let's say it has 175 going vertically. If we were to get into a program that would allow us to resample this image, it is possible that we could make this image bigger or smaller. And if we're talking about on-screen display, we're measuring this image then in pixels. So this is 100 pixels wide and 175 pixels tall. So if we were to enlarge this, let me do this differently. If we were to enlarge this, to let's say about twice its size, let's let that represent that, then if it's twice the size then we've gone to 200 pixels wide and 350 pixels tall. This is referred to as upsampling. In general, you do not want to upsample, and here's why. We've gone from an image that is 100 pixels wide, and we've gone to 200 pixels wide. Well, where did this additional 100 pixels come from? Now, on some software, uh, they'll do it different ways. Sometimes the neighboring pixel is simply copied. In other cases, it will look at neighboring pixels, maybe two, three, four pixels, to determine what that pixel should look like. No matter what, it is guessing, sometimes better than others, guessing what the missing pixel or pixel should look like. It is not true data. It has not truly originally been sampled. And that's the reason we want to avoid upsampling. Typically, all we're doing is making the file size bigger. So as we upsample, we have more data, but the quality of the image has not increased typically. So there is no advantage to upsampling, only disadvantage. Quality has not increased, but file size has, because we have more information that we need to store. So avoid upsampling. Now the opposite of that then is downsampling. And let me just take a moment here, clean up a few things. All right. Downsampling is going in this direction where our original, now this would be our original image, we've scanned it, We maybe this came from a digital camera, whatever the case may be, it is 200 pixels by 350 pixels, and we are going to decrease the number of pixels in that image. We are going to make it not as wide and not as tall. This is downsampling because we are reducing the number of pixels in the image we are reducing its overall size. This is perfectly acceptable. This is what we want to be doing. We want to start out with quality originals that can contain all the detail, all the pixels, all the information that we need and when we need another version of it those versions should be of a smaller size. So it's perfectly acceptable then to do down sampling <clears throat> So what we're doing now is taking our original image and we're selectively removing pixels to make this smaller image. So downsampling, perfectly acceptable. Now the same thing, as I mentioned, this applies not only to images but also to audio. There are cases when you go from audio that's being recorded at low sample rates and people will try to upsample them to higher sample rates. Again, where do those um, audio samples come from? It's simply copying, inventing them. Uh, is not adding to the quality of the original. You can start with something very low quality. It's still going to be low quality.
And so with downsampling with audio, we start with a very high quality, high fidelity piece of audio. And then if we need a lower quality piece of audio, we can go ahead and remove samples from that audio piece to get something of a lower quality and correspondingly a smaller file size. So downsampling and upsampling apply not only to images, but also to audio. I hope that helps you understand now the difference between upsampling and downsampling, which one to do and which one never to do.